interview. So the biggest goal with MTA 11 this year was really to listen to what the feedback from the community was and really try to address the issues we have with the game. There were a lot of things that the community wanted to see. It was time for us to really go to and address those things. 120 ways to win, the, the real college offenses. You know, every school runs a different version of an offense. You know, there might be 60 schools that run the spread, but each one runs it a little bit unique, whether it be the spread option, the no huddle, that sort of thing. So we try to nail what each school's offense is like, so when you're playing with them, their playbooks are correct, the personnel they use, the formations, when they go no huddle, how they use it, making sure all that's right. So my biggest feature this year would actually be the no huddle offense. Not only because it revolutionized the way you can call the no huddle offense where you have more control over your playbook and you're not kind of stuck in your, you know, pre-canned audibles that we've always had. But the biggest part to me is the CPU runs it. So like you're playing a team against like Michigan, for example, where, where they're going to come out and if they get on a streak, they're going to start no huddling on you like crazy. And you have to actually react to now the CPU trying to take advantage of a situation, which is actually really cool. I, I, I like it a lot. It's either that or uh, the runs for the so, CPU. But also with that too, it's not just that they're going to call no huddle on you. It's what they're going to do with the balls in their, ball in their hand when they're playing against you. The CPU running has been improved so much that it doesn't feel like the CPU is running the ball against you. It, feel like, it feels like it's another human with the moves they're going to make. They're going to try to get a first down rather than try and always go for a touchdown. They're not going to always try and bounce it outside. They're going to cut it up on you and make a spin to try and get that, that those crucial first down yards. It's, it's actually it's, it's a really great addition to see. It makes it fresh. I mean, we've been playing the game for years. We know how the CPU plays. You know, you're used to that. You know what you're doing. But now, it, it, it livens it up a little bit. It makes it refresh to, to where you have to, to think about, okay, how am I going to engage this 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 ball carry? Because he might pull a move on me I'm not expecting. We did formation subs, and we brought it back exactly how you remember it, so that it works great in Dynasty, and it works great in Online Dynasty, and that was exactly why we attacked it. Because look, that's what people want, and that, that's really what we've been trying to do a lot this year is, you know, give the fans, give the people who play the game what they want to see, and I'm glad that we're able to do that. Yeah, I mean that was kind of a, I guess, for lack of a better term, a bell cow for one of the main things we were talking about this year, which is really listening to the community what they want to see in the game. I mean, they're not shy about telling us what they want to see. And so we have a long list of things we want to get to, and we're getting to as much as we can every year. And so that was one of the key features we always hear about, where are formation subs? We want formation subs. We got those in. We got new equipment for players. So you're seeing towels. You're seeing knee braces on offensive linemen. You're seeing uh, new things like Alabama with the helmets and the numbers on the side during gameplay. I mean, you always see those during replays, but never during gameplay. And that just looked really strange. So you're not seeing that. So that was really the key this year. And that really was the jumping point for everything you're seeing from locomotion, from 120 ways to win, from the new presentation with ESPN and everything else. All of that stems from what we've heard from the community. So it's NCAA Football 11 for the PS2, PS3, Xbox 360, and it'll be in stores July 13th.